Yesterday on the podcast, it was coping with COVID. Today, long COVID, incidentally. I'm not suggesting that it's back, unless it's come back between me recording this and publishing it. So COVID yesterday and coldness today. Not just having a cold, but coping with the cold. Maybe that you're listening to this as it's published and you're about to go into winter or maybe you're listening to this some time after this episode's been published and you're already you get the gist yeah winter will come round again for you soon if you're not in it already that's essentially what i'm saying winter of course can be a really challenging time for your voice um it, it, there's a line in that song isn't it the weather outside is frightful and, and absolutely Uh, cold air outside, warm, dry, heated air inside. And of course, if the season coincides with Christmas and New Year, depending on your your hemisphere, there's bugs picked up from socialising and travelling, holiday performances such as concerts and carols. So here are some health tips to follow for the winter months, over and above the usual ones that we've looked at before. Number one, breathe through your nose. You knows that your nose is your friend in this season. OK, on the outside it may get as red as Rudolph's, but on the inside it's doing what it does best, filtering and warming the cold air you breathe in before sending it to the back of the throat. So, as your larynx prefers warm and moist rather than cold and dry air, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth to help it do its best work. And also, prepare your home. Inside, as I say, the air is likely to be dry and dusty. Another combination that's not good for your cords. Uh, Dusty heaters, radiators and air conditioning units that may need a bit of a clean since the last cold season so you don't breathe in the build-up from the months they weren't used. Add some moisture to the air by using a no-heat humidifier or simply putting a bowl of water on top of the radiator and yeah don't forget to scarf up wearing a scarf balaclava snood maybe i'm a big fan of a snood i do a good snood i will help cut the amount of cold dry air you breathe in and adds another filter as well and also warms your throat area because actually there's not much is there skin cartilage between the outside and uh, your actual larynx. So uh, keeping your whole body warm will make you more relaxed and less stressed. But particularly concentrate on the nose because of the warming and filtering and also your larynx area as well. Okay, we've got some more top tips for your voice in winter tomorrow as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. Where are we? From London, I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) 